before we get into the video, make sure to go down there and subscribe to the channel. I know it's 5,000 subscribers, so if you could subscribe, it would mean a lot. And yeah, let's get into the reaction to the game. So, Wrexham FC fans, this is a video that was unexpected and I didn't expect to make this time last week. But it's been announced today that we did play Manchester United behind closed doors in a friendly match at Carrington Manchester United's training ground and Man United did come out winners four goals to one. In this video we're going to be talking a bit about the game and what happened and such. Obviously there was no live stream, there were no updates given by either team and we were relying on some top, top journalists to give us this information. So this was the Manchester United team going into the game in goal they had Cova, right back was Wan-Bissaka, two centre-backs of Martinez and Bay, we were told that Rafael Varane did make an appearance as well. Left back was Malasia and midfield Garner, Van der Beek, Palestri and Eriksen and Ahmad Diallo and Antonio Martial. So Anthony Martial, sorry. So it's a very, very strong team that has been put out by Eric Ten Hag. Obviously before the game, he did say he was going to give players that hadn't had much game time in pre-season. He was going to give them to stretch their legs and have a good run out. Ignore this huge spot on my chin as well it's really annoying on the other hand for Wrexham I mean we went into it level at half time 1-1 goals from Christian Eriksen for Manchester United and Aaron Hayden the glass deer gladiator scoring in front of Ronaldo watching the game absolutely insane obviously it's a great test for us before we start the season playing up against probably the biggest team of all time that has been known in football yeah, I think it's a good one because look at the opposition. We were ex Well, me, I was talking before the game to my dad. I was expecting us to be playing our full team of Man United to be putting some under-18s or under-21s out. But they've actually put a team that is capable of finishing top seven in the Premier League. So like I said, it ended 4-1 to Manchester United. The goal scorers for United. Christian Eriksen on his first game for the club gets his goal. I'm glad to see him back playing football and obviously I think I can speak on behalf of every football fan for that. Garnacho, the youngster, Ahmad Diallo who spent last season at Rangers and Alex Tellez the left back. So four strong goal scorers and obviously for Wrexham it was Aaron Hayden. There was no involvement, I repeat there was no involvement for Jordan Davis or Elliot Lee for Wrexham which we could say it's quite concerning because we're what we were less than two weeks away from the season now when Elliot Lee came off well, I don't think he even started against Forrest in the 21s. Looked like an injury. And Davis, I don't think he made an appearance in the pre-season tour in Spain. And nothing seems to have t uh, changed since coming back to Wales. So we're hoping that's not going to be a massive blow. And hopefully he'll be back before the start of the season. Because if not, then we're missing Davis and Elliot Lee in that centre attack and midfield role. And in other news, it looked like Aaron Hayden did the sue in front of Cristiano Ronaldo, possibly some might say the greatest footballer to ever grace the earth. Apparently he sued. Now, whether how true this is or not, this is according to Rob Ryan So if it is true, Aaron Hayden, if you're watching, what a legend, what absolute hero suing in front of Cristiano Ronaldo, who was at Carrington watching the game. Whether this is a sign that Ronaldo will be staying at Manchester United or not, it's crazy. Imagine, imagine if he was involved in a game. It would have been mind-blowing. And for Wrexham FC fans, there unfortunately is no news on what the lineup was, but we can get sort of get the point that we played our most strongest team because it wouldn't make sense to play our youngsters up against multi-million pound players. Like it wouldn't make sense. And from a United point of view, will they be disappointed they conceded to us? Probably, but Again, it's a pre-season friendly, nothing really matters too much. So overall, it seemed like a good run out for Wrexham today and for Manchester United. Would we say we're disappointed we didn't get anything out of it? Absolutely not. You know, it's a good test for our boys going into the season. It's a great chance to show how well we can do against a strong opposition. So if there is any new people watching the video, get down there, subscribe, help us hit 5,000 before we fall this season ends that's the dream and that's the goal so yeah i'll see you in the next one take care